I also made this like a thing you have to do. That's a spiky Goomba. Spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Damn it, I tried to do the B one that time. Why am I failing with the stupid jump command right now? That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those in case you hadn't noticed. Damn, it says your Goombas are underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. Their maximum HP is 2, they have an attack power of 1, and defense, defense of 0. Can I get the gem? Like, I just... Okay, I think I was doing it too early. I think that's like the same thing that was happening to me in the first game. Later on, losers, that felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter the battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you get go into battle. Come... <laughs> Bye, Goombella. <laughs> Goombida. I think that's new too, you can perform action commands right at the start. You don't have to, uh... Set off the single attack? Or could you? I, I always forget. I'm actually not going to do the extra command here. Oh, and no, I won't. I guess that was pointless. Two seconds finish your hit. And your star points. Your FP, I mean, flower points. Damn it, Mario. <laughs> Not strong enough. Spina, a spiny, a spoona, spiny, spinia. I don't know. Totally weird creature made of thin, paperly boards. Certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures actually. Max HP three, attack one, defense is zero. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy to just give it a hey yeah. Will do.
Damn, I thought I'd, I thought I'd bug. Gumbella. So there's a bigger emphasis on paper in these games, as I'm sure you will notice. Black Fee, but what could it be for? Say something looks suspicious there, but we can't do anything with it yet. See, I always like that. Like, I like seeing like the treasure chests or suspicious looking things that you can't do anything with yet, but obviously, you will be able to like later, you know. Whoa, hey, you can you hear me? You can, that must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, a long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I think it would be a lot more than just bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So, yeah, anyway, big guy. Where, what brings you? What brings a hero like you to a place like this? Alright, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it must be... I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. <laughs> Jesus. So first, you should look for the key in this to this box. Then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Again, projecting an image into your head, but we already grabbed it. Well, what do you think, Mario? What do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on. Being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. See, in this game, we already have, like, the two partners following us. I totally forgot about that. Obviously, one of them's not actually a partner, but... Again, if I think there's another Paper Mario game, which I'm sure there will be, I would, like, I'll say I want them to go back to this formula, but I think it wouldn't be hurt if somewhere down the game we get a badge or we just get an upgrade that lets us have two partners at the same time. I think that would be really cool in, like, one of the ways to bring the series forward, you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You brought the key? Yes. You brought the key. <laughs> oh, man, I owe you big. Here you go. Yes! Thank, haha, thank nothing. Wee Fools! I love this music and this character, just in general. <laughs> this, look at this face. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly woogly woo, you're a curse. Wee hee, enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. For helping me, apparently. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee trembling yet. Suffering the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee <laughs> oh, I can't help but cor I don't I don't know that word. <laughs> You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, so I guess I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? You stand on an airplane panel like this one. The floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay. You're on the panel, now try pressing Y, and then BAM, you're a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I can't always take this seriously. 
I guess if you get good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So, be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that you've ever happened? Yes, I get it, it's terrible. I zoned out. What was that? Is that gonna- oh, it's gonna redo it. Fuck. Yes, it's so frightening, you lost control of your brain. Listen, once more, crybaby. You step on the floor panels are marked by my curse symbol, the floor will glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel, now pressing Y and then bang your paper airplane. We already went over this. Yes, I get it. Wee if you if you press B you might return to normal, maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. They're not von Kamer, get out of here. Wee So uh wow, they're just wow. What was that guy's beef? <laughs> I love that character, by the way. I, I don't even know, like, would you even really call him a character? He's just a paper. He's literally just purple paper. It's a face. Oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that! It's a thousand year door, spoken of in the legends, I can't believe it's real. So legends are all true. There it is. Big as life. Come, let's move closer. Explore the room a little bit, get a good idea for what's like around here. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Sorry, I'm just moving a little bit. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? I like that effect so much. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. I mean, we, did, we, don't, we don't actually have it. <laughs> Professor, the map. What was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. Appears that information related to the locations of the crystal star has appeared. And that shining light looked as if a mysterious power w was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Hmm, ah, I see. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. Special move? Yes, it will. Stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? We're gonna pass. This is very important. You better listen. I mean it. 
Are you ready to listen? No thanks. Hmm, you're absolutely sure? Well, alright then. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about that. Whoa, astounding! This map has a radar-like function. It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal... Petal Metals. Petal, petal Metals. Meadows. Jesus Christ, I don't know why I'm struggling so much on that word. Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal, Petal Metal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Metal Meadows. If you could just find that, you get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be here, would it? Again, projecting a, an image into your head. So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about suspicions about petal meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to petal meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, let's settle. Off to Petal Metals, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there. Your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting the Crystal Stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shivered old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. If you want to get to Pill Metals, look for the pipe beneath the town. Wait just a moment. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what effects you will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No thanks, I know how to do that. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. Do you want to practice? No thank you. By the way, you need flower power FP to use the power of smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, there's hoping you you find the pipe to pedal metals. So we can be like, gear. Or is it no badges? Sorry. Just go heal real quick. Or maybe it will. Uh, I don't know. It's only five coins, but maybe I'll just go. Okay, this way's a dead end, right? Oh, hey guys. That person wasn't there before. My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay. Come on, let's trade. Which badge do you want for, to trade for? So we got Happy Heart and flower, Happy Flower back.
What? You change your mind, so lame. Sorry.